I always end up talking about J.K. Rowling when we talk about gender stuff, but it's just a thing you have to talk about because she's out there still doing this stuff, still accusing Black women of secretly being trans. And yeah, so women can either have a job or they can have babies. They can't have both. Look what happened to Thomas. <laughs> J.K. Rowling, the way that she writes um, her female characters, it's like a man wrote them mm-hmm. because of how like misogynistic, honestly, it is that all of the moms are like unhappy or seem to be unhappy or unhappy with something. And they all have like a lot of kids and they're all kind of like stuck at home. Even like um, the horrible book, um, like Cursed Child or or whatever. I really think that somebody like Hermione Granger that is written as the smartest person Mm -hmm. at Hogwarts would do literally, would if she was married, she would become Minister of Magic, which is Hermione being the Minister of Magic is kind of scary, actually, because of how black and white she can be about punishing people. Um, yeah. But let's pretend like uh, the nice version of Hermione would be in charge. That if she's married, she ends up in charge of the entire government. But if she's not married, she ends up being a teacher at Hogwarts where all the kids don't like her because she's so mean to all of them. And it's like, you wrote that you're a woman and we know for a fact you are because you've made it your entire personality <laughs> that you are a woman and so i'm like i don't understand why you do this i will never understand it's like it's such weird like self-hatred mm-hmm. that she does this stuff and i will never get i will never get the point especially because i feel like we definitely won that we have becky riordan instead of her mm-hmm. she's very much like her own person um and you can definitely tell like it's funny with her and rick because they were born on the exact same day and so most of their birth chart is probably like almost exactly the same Mm -hmm. um but there are like different things with their personalities still that come through that are slightly different like she's like i'm glad that becky's there to like tell fans like hey stop bothering our makeup artists or our hair people, or our directors, or whatever, to try to get yourself on this show. <clears throat> like, leave them alone, please. Like, Rick is not the one to do something like that. Mm-hmm. Rick is the one that will, like, make a dramatic blog telling you that you're a racist pig when you're, like, bullying a, a like, child that he casted, cast in his show, um, and, like, and tell you, tell people, like, get mad at me. Don't get mad at this literal child get mad at me when he finally gets angry enough he puts people in his in their place like he did with those those emails to like the production team for the movies that were ruining his entire life at that time too he was he was as blunt as he needed to be which is very blunt to get his point across when he needs to um she does it in a more like a not nice way but a more like i guess a nicer way i suppose but in a way where like i don't think people fully get what she's doing what I think is really funny just because she's married to Rick doesn't mean that he's like superseded her own personality and her and her own way of living and what she wants to do with her life 